today I wanted to continue the tradition of trying out Halloween costumes. But it's the hilarity of the costume that really is the pièce de résistance. And today it's sexy costumes. Yay! But hold up creepy internet chads, because it's weird, sexy Halloween costumes. Oh, you're going to find a way to ruin this for everyone too. Halloween is definitely an excuse to try out things that are different for you, so I don't hold it against anybody who wants to wear a sexy Halloween costume. You do you, boo. Nobody should be judged for what they're wearing at Halloween, but let's be real, if anybody wears any of the following costumes in seriousness, I pray for them. I made the mistake last year of doing this video without recognizing the fact that Halloween costumes are extremely pricey. So today's video is brought to you by the new reason that my friends are giving out to me that my head's in my phone all the time when we're out. It's Raid. I would not consider myself a gamer, but as you guys know, I have become mildly obsessed with a couple of games. Raid is one of those. It's the most ambitious RPG project of 2019. As well as incredible 3D graphics, it has one of the biggest pulls for me, which is a really engaging storyline. I hate games where the characters just bash each other for no reason. I like to justify my brutality. There's MVP battles and hundreds of champions to collect and customize. You get to choose their artifacts and create a unique mastery build for each one of them. It's totally free! Free! You just download it on your phone and then you can stare at it and ignore your friends just like me. With over 300,000 reviews, Raid has an almost perfect score on the Play Store. It's growing super fast and the highly anticipated new Faction Wars feature is now live. New players can get a brand new daily login reward for the first 90 days in the game. I'm under the nickname Diana Drama, so if you act fast, you can join my clan. Go to the video description, click on the link, and you will get a free 50k silver and an epic champion as part of the new player program. Thanks for supporting the channel, Raid. Now to try on some apparently sexy costumes. It's a sexy scarecrow! When I think of scarecrows, I think of... Do you like cups of tea and slices of cake? Okay, I'm gonna be real with you. It was a struggle to get this outfit on and nothing makes me feel less sexy than knowing my proportions are too big for a standardized costume. Part of me thinks maybe it's supposed to be tiny and, and that it was supposed to be a struggle to get on, but even the hat is very, like the hat's just resting atop my head. And for some reason, I think maybe it's the garish colors. This was not this color in the picture. These accessories were more straw colored. It seems more like a leprechaun than a scarecrow. But I don't know under what umbrella scarecrows are supposed to be sexy. I just can't wrap those two things around. If they were too sexy, instead of scaring away magpies and crows, they would scare people driving along the road. If they were all like, Ugh. you know, that was my attempt. But yeah, I, hate this. I can't wait to get it off. My least favourite thing about it is probably because I've thought too much about this little detail. It being an equation implies it's something to do with the whole brain thing and the not having a brain thing with the scarecrow and the Wizard of Oz and I've tied that back to the fact that he's brainless and apparently it's sexy to be brainless and I know I've overthought this whole thing but basically I don't, I don't like this costume. On a sexy scale of 1 to 10, I'm gonna give this costume a 2 because parts of it are nice, like I like this bit. I think that's, that's nice, although it does go like further out than my bra strap, which it's probably not supposed to do. But yeah, no, I just want to take it off and it's itchy. Also, did you see the shoes? Yep, those are the shoes. They fit just right. Scarecrow. <laughs> Next up, it's... Oh, Jesus. Hi, honey. Do you hate your life? You look very sexy. Very sexy boy. Oh, wow. Do you hate me right now? You're not even gonna look at me? You know what, though? You have to earn your rent somehow. A girl's gotta pay bills. Yeah, I couldn't bear to leave it on and me absolutely hated it, so uh, what do you think of her? What do you think of the cover girl? Is she sexy? Is she a sexy dog? Mm -hmm. He says zero out of ten. That one's a fail. If you don't dress up your dog and laugh at them, what's the point in having them anyway? <laughs> A 
beer girl. Okay, first off, this costume absolutely reminds me of being an Irish model. You would turn up to some event and you'd have to promote something and they'd put you in something as miserable as this costume. Irish models, if you didn't know, just tend to be regular girls. You don't have to be super tall or anything. I should also point out it doesn't come with beer. You're supposed to be able to put beer in the little sides, but it doesn't come with beer, which I'm not surprised about, but it's just an extra thing that you would have to buy. Also, I don't know if I have exceptionally small wrists. Can't say it's come up before. But the cuffs are like really big and I have to double them over and they're still really big. I think I do get beer girl. I can see why that would be sexy under like the umbrella of a misogynistic archetype. <laughs> Woman, bring me beer. Sexy. I, I kind of get it. Also the design, I get it. It does not fit well, but this thing covers up a whole host of things. I think I need to be a little bit more fair when marking this one because I can definitely see a lot of people finding this sexy. Oh, bring me beer. So I'm going to give this one a four out of 10 because while it doesn't hold up to my ideals, I can get it, I can get on board, I kind of get it. It also itches, it's very itchy. Oh, oh no, oh no she didn't. Oh yes I did. I'm gonna be honest with you, I put shorts under this, it was like indecent. Of course there's fishnets, it's a politician. And they're all a little fishy, you know? But wait, before you get offended because I've dressed like your favorite politician slash least favorite politician, don't worry, I have this covered. Ta-da! I try not to get political, but I'll be honest with you, I hate all the politicians. <laughs> When I saw online that this costume existed, I'll be honest with you, I had to put it on. Like, there was no question about it. I had to wear that costume. I feel like it's a bit of a cheat because that's not the slogan. Also, this costume was advertised as sexy president costume. It was that non-specific because they obviously don't have the copyright to the image. Like I said, this is definitely one you might want to keep for the bedroom because if I wasn't wearing shorts, it'd all be there. You could see everything. I love not what the internet's for. Oh no wait. Giggity giggity giggity. I'd say if you really want to spark a debate at Halloween you could definitely wear some kind of presidential political costume. Is it sexy? Depends. For the presidential costume I'm gonna give it a 1 out of 10. It just it's not good. Not good at all. And that's it for today's video. If there's any weird, sexy costumes that you've seen online, let me know below in the comments. Shout out to a couple of patrons today. It's Galen Good. He'd like to shout out everybody who already subscribes to the channel. And he wanted to suggest that anybody who hasn't subscribed yet, subscribe. I said, let's do something Halloween-y for this. So here's a very cute vampire threatening you if you don't subscribe. Thank you so much. Next patron is Brian Ediger would like to shout out anyone who is going through a hard time at the moment with dark thoughts and wants to let them know that they're not alone. You're stronger than you think and help is just a call or a text away. Thank you so much. And that's it for today's video. Keep your eyes peeled throughout the week because I might have a little something special up my oversized sleeve. Bye. Are you gonna go run away in shame? Are you modeling? Are you being a model? Without a shadow of a doubt, this is the most weird thumbnail I've ever had to shoot for the channel. Like, what do you- Hi! Hey, how's it going? You get treats for looking real pretty. Oh my God, I'm so exploiting my dog right now. Ooh, ah. Uh, yeah, you can tell Irish models really well. Do I have lipstick on my feet? Like, probably. I can't tell. How do people do red lipstick? No clue. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Ee.